Hello everyone. As part of starting homeschool here in the Metherill household, Anna and I have been reading a book called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Of course, this is a book that will be familiar to many of us. And we know that it begins with Alice following a worried white rabbit down a rabbit hole. And as she follows that rabbit down the rabbit hole, they fall down into a very mysterious and strange land. Of course, this is something of a parable for how we are experiencing life at the moment. It feels like we too have fallen down that rabbit hole and have ended up in a place that we would never have imagined that we could possibly have been. As we've been experiencing these circumstances, one of the things I've been praying and asking Jesus is simply this, Lord, what are you doing at the moment? What is it that you're doing at the moment? Now, since arriving at Emmanuel, we've talked an awful lot about prayer. Our sense has been that the Lord is calling us to go deeper in our relationship with him. And we do that through humbling ourselves and praying. As 2 Chronicles 7, 14 puts it, a passage which I've preached on a number of times since arriving at Emmanuel. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. So I think that part of the answer to the question, Lord, what are you doing at the moment? Is that God is stirring us again to pray, to make the most of the time that we have in isolation, to pray. Now in Bristol, you can visit the oldest Methodist building in the world. It's called the New Room. And above the chapel is the apartment that, where John Wesley would stay on his regular visits to Bristol. And just off his bedroom is another smaller room. And it is simply a desk and an open Bible. And this was his prayer closet. This was the place where he would regularly spend over two hours a day, closeted away in prayer. And as we too find ourselves closeted away in this season and time of self-isolation and social distancing, I believe that the court Lord is calling us to use this time to pray. I believe that the Lord is calling us to turn something which is difficult into something which can be a place of blessing. As the psalmist writes in Psalm 84, speaking about the place of Baca, which is the place of suffering, he says this. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. So how then? Are we to do this? Well, there's a famous story about an evangelist called Gypsy Smith. Gypsy Smith was born in 1860 and lived until 1947. He was a famous evangelist, moved and used by God mightily in the United States and also in Great Britain. One day, as he arrived in the United States, he got off of his boat and was met by a delegation. And these, these people wanted to know how they could be used by God as Gypsy had been in seeing the personal and mass revival that he had actually himself seen. Without hesitating, Gypsy Smith said this, Go home, lock yourself in your room, kneel down in the middle of the floor, and with a piece of chalk, draw a circle round yourself. There, on your knees, pray fervently and brokenly that God would start a revival within that chalk circle. My prayer for each one of us, is that we would draw a circle in these days and brokenly and fervently cry out to God for the personal renewal and the revival that this country and world so desperately needs. Friends, let's draw a circle. Let's use this time to pray, to pray for our government, to pray for the NHS and all of those people who are working so hard on our behalf. Let's pray for their protection and let's pray that God would move in these days. May God bless each and every one of us.